why am I not surprised? What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. You guys have already seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title, you know. We received a package from Walmart. Now, again, Walmart is known for their hits and misses when it comes to shipping. You either get a box or you get a bubble mailer. And I was fortunate enough this time to receive a bubble mailer, just like I did any of the other times they've shipped stuff to me in the past. There's been very few instances where I've actually have gotten a box. My man JB Toy Trunk, if you guys follow him on Instagram and you follow YouTube, you know that he actually got his figure sent to him recently from Walmart and it came in a box and the box was beat to high hell. So I understand his pain. I understand a lot of other people's pains. I understand figure collectors. I understand the collecting community as a whole when it comes to Walmart and how they ship stuff. Now, I can't say all has been bad. There has been instances where Walmart has got it right. Via V, when I got my CM Punk AEW Supreme figure, it was nice bubble wrap protected nicely. One of the few instances where they actually did redeem themselves, but it looks like they are back at it again with this bubble mailer. Now, what is in this bubble mailer, you may ask? Well, I wound up getting the Spider-Man Retro Venom, and I'm hoping that in this instance that it's intact. There's no damage to it, but again, bubble mailer folks we all know how how this goes so i wanted to take a quick moment i wanted to open this and show you what if if it if the bubble mailer actually did hold up and then or if there's any damage and we should talk about what maybe walmart can do in the near future to prevent mishaps damages all that other good stuff but you think they're really going to watch this video no this is just more for you guys and for more informational and entertainment purposes than anything so without further ado let's open this up let's see what my damage is and of course you could see right there the bent sides all bent corners all jacked up Plastic is all creased in here on the side. So not like I was planning on opening this up and doing a review of anything, but you know, thanks Walmart. I mean, again, you send a $30 figure after shipping and all that other nonsense in a $2 bubble mailer. I mean, like it can't take you, you know, just a couple of seconds to throw it in a box, bubble wrap it, protect it. Instead, I get it and it's all damaged and beat to hell i mean listen we've been down this road before like i said with other things it's it's time guys it's time that walmart does something either drastic where you know they just stop selling toys and all of that shit to begin with and stop selling collectibles and you know all that other stuff or they up the game better customer service better shipping better packaging better treatment of of just things in general. Now, obviously, I hope I'm gonna come across one on a hunt that's clean and on card, but again, this thing is all smashed to high hell, and it's very disheartening, it's very upsetting. Freaking, again, Walmart never fails with their shit. Listen, I could be disappointed all I want till I'm blue in the face about going to the stores and finding stuff in Walmart's stores, but this, this is this is a this is where I kind of draw the line and it's a little like, unacceptable. We all waited for this to come out. We've all been waiting patiently and this is what we expect. I mean, listen. Again, I am not a on-card collector, so this is not really I guess a giant deal for me, but it is a little disheartening just for for people that are in box collectors because again it's just you know what happens if someone had a nice wall where they were putting up all the carded retro figures along their wall now they can't who knows if you could find another one who knows if you can find it in the store now you might have to go on ebay and buy one second hand and then you're digging a deeper hole than you already are because we know what it's like with you know people when they get stuff like this and they want to resell it and flip it but again this is just very 
disheartening that <clears throat> this, this is, oh, and this isn't even a bubble mailer. This is just a regular mailer. See, I was even being kind with saying a bubble mailer. This isn't even a bubble mailer. This is just a mailer. There's nothing to it. There's no protecting, no padding, no nothing. It's just beat my figure up. Now, again, I'm going to open it up, but what happens if I wanted a clean on card one because I had plans to do an actual figure review on this and I wanted to show you guys a nice clean card without any damage to it or anything like that. I mean, I might be able to get away with doing it on with this, but again, the plastic is all caved in on the bottom, on the top, corners all beat to shit. I mean, listen, you're all watching this right now and either you're feeling sorry for me, you've experienced for yourself, or you're just the regular typical hater that's like, ah, oh, good for him, he deserves it, karma. <laughs> so either way, everyone has experienced what I'm going through and, and I've watched other people go through it. And again, it's very aggravating. It's very frustrating, especially when we spend our good hard earned money. And I just feel that it should be taken care of a little bit better than throwing it in a bubble mailer. So yeah, that that's all I had to get to say. I, I had to, I felt like I had to make a video about this. I felt like I had to get this off my chest again. You guys know me. I always tout that I am the voice of the voiceless and I speak up for those who can't speak up or afraid to speak up. And to me, this is a bunch of cockapoopa bullshit. And honestly, Walmart needs to do a better job of just a better job overall in general. I mean, again, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is pathetic. That's what this is. You know, at least JB got his in a box, but again, the box was beat to shit. I'm sure that wasn't the case when it left the factory. I'm sure, you know, it got sent through the post office and, you know, and of course, you know, they ace ventured the shit out of that. <laughs> but again, this is, yeah, again, guys, this did to, to me, Walmart, this is just unacceptable. And you guys comment down below. You let me know what your thoughts are. I'm sure some of you are going to agree. Some of you are going to disagree. Some of you are going to be like, oh, stop whining, you know, whatever. It's a $30. For, again, it's, it, it's, it's the principle of the thing. You spend the money, you want what you want. That's all I'm getting at. So, guys, that's basically it. That's going to wrap up another Walmart rant. Haven't done one of those in a hot minute. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the content that I've been putting out lately. I've had a lot of fun putting out stuff and, you know, having a good time. So that's about it. So, guys, as always, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe and all that other good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.